I'm Doug Sarava, and I'm here to talk to you about faith, life, and death. Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Faith, Life, and Death. I'm your host, as always, Doug Sarava. Today's topic is called The Strong Man. When a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils. Luke 11, 21, 22. In this passage, Jesus is talking about the demonic world. Think how differently the secular world would think and act if it believed that Satan is the God of this world, that he is their father, that he came to kill, steal, and destroy, and that he blinds them to the truth of the gospel. If they simply believed, they would be able to embrace the message of everlasting life. But they don't. So the demonic world has complete control of their lives. From the man on the street to the world's political leaders, they are the blind leading the blind to destruction. Jesus speaks of an armed man who is strong and because of his strength, his home and goods are safe. All it takes is someone stronger than he to overcome him. Our trust is in God and we are therefore never in danger of being overcome by the demonic world. Soul Search Is my faith entirely in God for today? Am I completely confident in His protection? Father, thank you that my goods are in peace because you are faithful. Now I'm sure many of you are thinking this is going to be a political talk. Don't worry, it won't be. We are strictly going to talk about faith. And I'm sure it may tie in. That's not my intention. But whatever God has me to say will be said. You gotta admit, this is a crazy world. There's a lot of craziness going on. And I feel like a lot of that craziness takes over our lives. It takes over our lives. It could be demons, it could be stress, whatever it may be. But I don't believe in letting demons take over my life. Some people let what happened 10 years ago take over their lives today. You know, we have to move forward. We have to be strong. We have to move on with our lives. I mean, I'm not afraid to admit, you know, people laughed at me in high school. That was over 10 years ago. Some people like to bring up the past and say, this happened to me, that happened to me. We can't let that take over our thoughts. We can't constantly believe what we hear. You know, someone may tell you you're worthless, you're not good enough, you're a loser. You're laughable. But we have to be stronger than that. We have to believe that we are better than that. We have to believe that we are good enough, we are worth it. We are important, we are valued. And it mentioned in the book, but they don't. So the demonic world has complete control of their lives, of their lives. From the man on the street to the world's political leaders, they are the blind leading the blind to destruction. And in the beginning of the book, it says, Jesus is talking about the demonic world. Think how differently the secular world would think and act if it believed that Satan is the god of this world. You know, we see that today. You know, we have politicians that say, you know, America's a bad country. It's hateful. People that want to hurt you. All this nonsense. And for some reason, we automatically believe it. For some reason, we automatically follow it. But why is there so much doubt to believe what God has to say? Why is there so much doubt? 
God gave us the answer. God loves us. Yes, we are sinners, and we are going to sin no matter what. We may, com we may commit a sin today, tomorrow, right after going to church. But God's not going to give up on us. God's not going to say you're worthless, you're not valued. God still loves us, even though we aren't perfect. We automatically believe the opposite. If someone tells us we're worthless, we're not good enough. If someone says this is the worst country in the world. If someone says people hate you, whatever, whatever it may be. Why do we always have that thought automatically? Why don't we just start believing what God has to say? That we are loved. That we are cherished. That we are valued. That we have worth. Don't you think that that could make a difference in our lives in the world we live in today? Don't you think that? Just maybe... Maybe if we start to believe in God, we could say we believe in God, but if we constantly have that self-doubt, if we constantly believe in the ne negativity instead of the positive, maybe, maybe the world would be a better place. But most importantly, if we believed in that saying that God loves us, maybe it won't be hard to love everyone around us. Because if we start loving others the way God loves us, this world would be a much better place. May God bless you all. I'm Doug Sarava, and I'm here to talk to you about faith, life, and death. 